and discuss the Skype for Business Admin Center. In this section, you'll learn about the parts of the Skype for Business Admin Center and how to execute the main tasks. We'll look at the dashboard, how to set up external communications, how you can manage your individual users, setting up your online meeting settings, and some information about the dialing in conferencing tools and reports that you can use. Let's look at the dashboard. So on the dashboard, we're going to look at the user statistics, the organization information, and how you can learn more. In the Office 365 Admin Center, you go to the left navigation to the A at the bottom with the gear sticking out. And under the Admin Centers, you go to Skype for Business. Once you click on it, it will open Skype for Business in a new tab. Once the new tab opens, you will see the dashboard. On this dashboard, you have your user statistics. So for example, how many Skype for Business users do you have? How many users are in the cloud? You also see your organization information, which your organization name is, and your organizational domains, just to name a few. The ways you can learn more are by using the links on the side. You have some links for resources and for the community. So on the resources, you can look at Skype for Business Online PowerShell if you're trying to do some PowerShell commands. You can also go to the community and ask a question in one of the online forums or read the blogs.